Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can include a discussion element in your Google site in the new version of Google Sites. So let's say I have my sample Google site here and I want to include a page for discussion between students or between colleagues in a professional learning environment. I'm going to go in and let's just create a new page and we'll call it discussion. And now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a Padlet wall. So I have a Padlet wall called exit tickets and I'm going to embed this exit ticket into the Google site. So let's get share and embed. We'll copy that code. And now I'll select embed. Choose embed code instead of URL. Paste it into place. And now insert. Now this is a little bit small, so let's just click and drag to resize and make it fit in the space available to us. And now anyone who has access to the site will also be able to go into the Padlet here and double click and add a new comment to it, provided I've published a wall and publish the site page. Now the other option, I'm going to delete this one, is to use Flipgrid. So I'm in Flipgrid and Flipgrid if you haven't used it before, is a tool for including video discussion. Let's select my topic here of weekly re reflections. Click share. Choose embed. We'll choose the embed a fully functional grid. Let's copy that code. And now we'll embed it. And again, we can resize that to fit in the space allowed. Let's publish it. And now we see that Flipgrid wall embedded into our Google site discussion page. If you need directions on how to use Flipgrid or Padlet, I have links to tutorials in the comments below this video. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.